Hello. Let me share my screen with you for today's lesson. Okay. So this is the topic for today. Uh, today's lesson is about hunger. Okay. Let's have a look and see what we're going to do. So we've got a quiz, we've got visuals, we've got a reading, and we've got vocabulary and writing. Is that okay? Right. So a quiz, first of all. This is two slides of the quiz. I want you to pause the screen and write down the numbers and the letter that you think is correct. Okay. Okay, and now the second half of the quiz. Again, pause and write down. Okay, right. Now, can you check your answers in this infographic? You can pause. You might not find all of them here. You'll find the rest later. Were you correct? Do you know a lot about hunger in the world? Okay, ready? We're going to now look at four photos. Um, pause the video for each one. Make some notes. So three questions. Where was the photo taken? How do you know? What can you see in the photo related to food or hunger? And what do you think the message of the photo could be? Okay, so three questions. Where, what, and message. Four photos. Ready to make notes? First one. Okay. Second photo. Okay, third photo, and fourth photo. All these photos are from the article, and here is a link to the article. If you prefer, you can read it on the Easier English Wiki, that's eewiki.newint.org, um, and search for death by COVID or hunger, and you'll find it or use this link. Okay, I want you now to read the article very quickly, just skim through, don't read for detail, only five minutes, to see if you got the right messages from the photos. Okay, the reading is now on the next six slides and I'll go through and you can pause them if you're reading it here. Ready? Part one. Okay, part two. Okay, part three. Okay, part four. No, sorry, that's the second half of part three. Next. Part four, and the last one, part five. Okay, so six slides, but five parts to the article. Was it what you thought it would be? Was it what you predicted from the photos? Okay, now I want you to read the article again and try and summarize each section in one sentence. It's very difficult to summarize, but try and get the main ideas in each sentence. We'll be working on summaries more later. This is just a practice. Okay, you need to go back over the article and pause. Okay, and now this is to practice writing and vocabulary, I want you to write your own multiple choice questions and bring them to class. 
Okay, um, we need to practice answering these multiple choice questions for the reading. Um, and it's multiple choice questions about the meaning of the text of the article, about the meaning of vocabulary, about the use of punctuation, and the use of pronouns. So choose two different types and write two multiple choice questions based on the text with three or four possible answers and bring them with you to the lesson. Okay. Okay, so that's the lesson for today.